Are you intrigued by the concept of having passive income? You know, the idea where money just flows into your bank account, freeing you from the daily grind. It's a dream that many people chase, fueled by the enticing promises from social media influencers. However, it doesn't have to be a dream. In fact, my passive income far exceeds my salary as a professor. And I'd like to share some simple and direct strategies that every one of you can implement that will truly impact your life. In this video, I'll start by debunking some of the common myths about the passive income ideas that are peddled around on social media. Then in the latter half of the video, I'll cover some practical ways to create real passive income streams that are achievable for everyone. I'm sure you've come across articles or videos online promising quick and easy passive income. Who wouldn't want to make $6,300 a month while sipping wine at a vineyard in Italy or lounging on the beach in Hawaii? These alluring images often paint an idealized picture of financial success with promises of overnight riches and carefree lifestyles. You must approach all of these claims with a healthy dose of skepticism. The problem with passive income is how it's advertised as an easy path to wealth. In reality, creating a stream of passive income takes dedication, hard work, patience, and some investment of time and energy and quite often some money. Ideas such as self-published eBooks, developing an app, doing affiliate marketing, selling an online course, or launching a blog are not passive income. Firstly, Crafting a compelling book that resonates with readers takes quite a bit of research and a substantial commitment of your time. In many cases, authors invest months, if not a year or more, to write a quality book. You better have a very good idea because approximately 90% of self-published books sell less than 100 copies. 20% make no money at all and one out of three authors earn less than $500 annually from their entire portfolio of books. What about creating an app? Well, most people don't possess the technical skills required. And even for those who do, the road to app success is often paved with multiple failures before stumbling onto a good idea. Profitable apps are typically the result of relentless efforts from a small, dedicated team who work diligently over their concept for months on end. Again, a lot of hours, energy, and usually a significant financial investment. Oh, and what about affiliate marketing income that influencers are often boasting about? The reality is you must build a channel and put in substantial effort consistently creating content for an extended period before your audience is significant enough to make this idea viable. Oh, and that online course? Well, that too takes an initial investment of your time and assumes you have something of value you can build a course around. Quite often, it seems like influence who already have a whole bunch of subscribers are just kind of promoting their own online course that they hope you'll buy. In the world of YouTube alone, as of 2023, there are more than 114 million YouTube channels and only 2 million of those have over 10,000 subscribers. To put that in perspective, that's less than 1.75% that are over 10,000 subscribers, and only around 0.28% have over 100,000 subscribers. The competition is tough, and it takes a lot of time and effort to build a channel. I made a few videos several years ago. One little video I made three years ago now has over 85,000 views. So recently, I decided to try and be more consistent and produce some videos on a regular basis. It's very time consuming, and there are no guarantees that there will be any meaningful return. Same holds true for launching a blog. That can easily take four to six months of blogging daily or even longer before seeing anything at all in terms of a return and most fail to generate any meaningful income. As you can see, many of the most often touted ideas are not truly passive income. They demand substantial effort upfront, and success doesn't come overnight. 
It's a gradual process that unfolds over several months or longer. Now let's talk real estate. That can be a good investment. However, it certainly is not passive income. Here's an eye-catching headline from just the other day. This San Francisco woman brings in more than $10,000 a month through buying fixer-uppers and she's only 25 years old. Here's how she built her real estate riches. Okay, this sounds great, but what many fail to realize is that this is far from passive income and very few would be willing to undertake what this determined individual did. To begin with, she recognized that obtaining a mortgage in the high-priced California Bay Area where she was living wasn't feasible for her. So she chose a place with lower house prices and cash flow potential, causing her to move to Cincinnati, Ohio. She made her initial move by purchasing a small two-bedroom home, only one bathroom, using a $20,000 down payment and she spent $15,000 on renovations. Notice she normally need to have some seed money to get started. As she accumulated equity from the rental income, she continually reinvested it and acquired more properties. Within two years, she had acquired 27 units. This is one ambitious young lady. However, during the interview, she admitted that it has been really difficult. Things would go wrong every single day. She had houses broken into, stuff stolen, people ghosting her, tenants not paying rent. She even had to do some evictions. But she understood it was all part of the journey. Oh, and one more thing to clarify. That $10,000 per month in the headline isn't pure income. It's an approximation of the total monthly rent coming in. Out of that, she would have to pay her property tax, insurance, repairs, legal expenses, and all the mortgage payments. The article didn't break down what was left at all, if anything. This is a full-time endeavor for this young lady. Certainly, nothing about this resembles passive income. Speaking of real estate, you better know the market and be able to identify the right properties. There are times it's a poor investment. Just ask anybody that was buying properties right before the housing crisis of 2008. In contrast, many young real estate success stories coincidentally began their careers shortly after the housing crisis, when the market was flooded with undervalued properties. It was a wonderful time to be buying real estate. I, for instance, have a partnership with a close friend and we were buying houses through some of those years. But even then, for every 10 to 12 houses we evaluated, we might only find one that was a sound investment as a rental property. Then there are all the weekends and evenings we would spend on renovation projects and repairs. Again, not exactly passive income. So real estate can be a great investment, but it normally takes a down payment to get started, hard work, and a few headaches dealing with issues along the way. One of the most important aspects of this process is the ability to identify properties you feel are undervalued. As of right now, you might want to be pretty cautious. According to the S&P CoreLogic Case Schiller U.S. Home Price Index, some house prices have gone up 13.5% in just the past two years, interest rates have more than doubled, and 36.2% of homes are being sold above their listed price. It's a difficult time for a buyer to find any deals, but it's a great time to be a seller. That's the fundamental issue with much of the advice surrounding passive income. They make it sound so easy. In reality, it takes a huge initial investment of your time and energy, and sometimes capital, before you ever see the results and start reaping the rewards. Oh, and while you're putting in all that work, you better hang on to your regular job too, so you have some income. So it all boils down to one pivotal question. How determined are you to transform your life? How are you currently spending your spare time? 
Recently, the Bureau of Labor Statistics released an annual American Time Use Survey, offering a glimpse into the average American daily life. On average, we spend 2 hours and 47 minutes watching TV, and we dedicate an additional 2 hours and 27 minutes to social media daily. Consider the possibilities if even a portion of that time were dedicated to something productive that could genuinely provide you with lasting source of passive income. So let's get to the things that every one of you can start doing right now that can truly give you passive income in the future. Let's kick things off by revisiting that determined young lady investing in real estate. Remember, it was a full-time endeavor for her. She initially had $20,000 of a down payment and $15,000 for renovations. What if that $35,000 had simply been put into the S&P 500 as an investment, which earns around a 10% compounded annual growth rate over longer periods of time? In fact, during the past 10 years, ending in 2022, it averaged 12.6% with the dividends it pays. But we'll just use 10%. At a 10% rate of return, that $35,000 would have grown into over $90,000 in just 10 years all by itself without you lifting a finger. There's some passive income while doing nothing. Plus, she's she's free to choose a job to earn some extra money that she could live off of. After 20 years, it would have grown into $235,000, and after 30 years, it would have grown into over $610,000. Not bad for just letting that money go out and work for you. One of the most accessible avenues for building passive income is your employer's 401k, if you have one available and the free money that comes with it through the employer's match. Many companies that offer a 401k match the contributions up to around 4 to 6% of the employee's salary. If you are not contributing enough to get the full match, you are not getting that free money. That's real passive income. Let's say somebody has a salary of $60,000 a year. That's $5,000 in gross earnings per month. If you contribute 6% of that, which is only $300 a month, and your employer matches that, now that's $300 a month of free money over and above your wages. You have just doubled your investment the very first day. Now, picture a 30-year-old individual starting this journey and consistently contributing until they reach the age of 67 it would have grown into over $1.5 million at just an 8% growth rate. They have over $1.5 million, and over their entire working life, they would have only contributed $133,200 of their own money. Now that's some amazing passive income. Naturally, what you could have at the end would be much larger if we factored in pay increases along the way. Unfortunately, a recent CNBC survey found that 41% of employees that have access to a 401k don't even participate. That's really unfortunate. And then, of the ones that do, only 24% did enough to get the full match. So people are just walking away from free money that's right in front of them that takes no effort at all. Speaking of investing, take advantage of index investing. Remember that the S&P 500 over long periods of time usually averages around a 10% compounded annual growth rate with the dividends it pays. Imagine that same 30-year-old saving and investing just $300 a month into a Roth IRA and never increasing that amount over time. At full retirement age of 67, they would have over $1.2 million in their Roth IRA and all of it would be income tax-free. There is some passive income to enjoy. If you have some savings or an emergency fund, don't just let that sit around at a local bank earning minimal interest either. You want to use a high-yield savings account. 
there are many FDIC insured banks that can easily be found online offering high yield accounts. Currently, many of these are paying 5% interest. That's some free money while doing nothing and you still have your money available for any unforeseen events. While it may seem somewhat as an unrelated topic to passive income, it's essential to emphasize the importance of maintaining a great credit score. If you haven't already, at least, a good credit score lowers your interest rates on all types of loans from auto loans to mortgages. Even your car and house insurance premiums will be much lower. A good credit score saves you a great deal of money. And remember, money saved is actually better than earning extra money. Why? Because if you save $500 in expenses, you actually have an extra $500. If you earn an additional $500, you have to pay taxes on it, leaving you less than $500. These are the kinds of hidden ways to create passive income for yourself. You need to cut out unnecessary expenses from your budget. Related to this is making sure you work really hard on getting out of any credit card debt you may have. You simply can't be paying that kind of interest and tell yourself you care about passive income. The funny thing is, is how many people spend so much time and energy looking for ways to make money by not actually working. And that's why they fall for all these falsehoods touted as passive income. Well, here's maybe a better idea and one that you can actually count on. Rather than investing a bunch of hours in some adventure that may not pay off, how about taking a little extra part-time job alongside your normal one? Perhaps you could sacrifice one evening of TV a week and one weekend day. Let's say you work five hours on a Wednesday evening and 10 hours on a weekend, earning $15 an hour. That's 15 hours a week. Many places are desperate for help, and even places like Walmart pay that much. Or you could just explore odd jobs like house cleaning or dog walking in an urban area. What if someone commits to this for just five years? That's 15 hours per week at $15 an hour, resulting in $11,700 per year. Even if you paid taxes and only ended up with $9,000, that's still $750 per month that you could invest into a low-cost ETF. After only five years, your investment could grow into over $57,000. You see, that money you invested went to work for you and brought back a whole bunch of its friends. Now let's say this person is 35 and leaves it untouched until the age of 67 without adding another dime to it. Just sacrificing a few hours a week for five years and then stopping at the age of 35, it could grow into over $1.2 million. And they saved and invested only $45,000 of their own money. Now, of course, money alone won't make you happy, but neither does being poor. While it's true that all forms of passive income require a significant investment of time, energy, hard work, and usually some money up front, the concept of passive income is certainly by no means a myth. However, it's important to approach the concept of passive income with a realistic mindset and the willingness to put in the necessary effort and dedication to succeed. Otherwise, if you think it's easy, and will happen quick, you will soon become discouraged and disillusioned. For those willing to put in the extra work now, the satisfaction and contentment you will experience while you enjoy the benefits of passive income down the road are probably more than you can imagine. So life is a series of choices. We can't have everything all at once. There has to be some sacrifices today to enjoy the passive income later and enjoy the holy grail of financial freedom. To quote Aristotle, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. So what habits will you start today
that could change your life and set you on a path to financial freedom. Thank you for watching. I hope you hit the like button, subscribe, and leave some comments below.